That was difficult. There are some promising looking dishes here, let me tell you. But this year, we're doing something different. The best dish from each of our teams will earn one of these. A next level immunity pin. What? What? <laughs> My jaw drops when I see this immunity pin. If you are ever nominated for elimination, you can turn your pin in and avoid the cook-off altogether. And trust me, these are worth their weight in gold. Understand? Yes! yes. Richard, Naisha, shall we start at the top floor? Let's do it. We'll start over here. We have some turkey meatballs glazed in jerk spices with a little bit of pea puree and a parsley salad. I'm a big meatball fan. This dish has got great potential, but it just didn't come together. Bit of a disaster. It's just not necessarily a top level presentation. Next up here, we have a beef filet with roasted mushrooms and a chimichurri sauce. It may be two minutes over, it's sort of mid rare to medium, but it tastes good. It tastes really good. Next, we have a pan roasted pork tenderloin with a pepper and sweet potato romesco. I love the sweet potato puree. Unfortunately, the pork is under seasoned. Such a shame. A spiced lamb chop with a seasonal vegetable medley. Medley. Have you heard of the term? It's been a while. Medley sounds older than Martha Stewart. <laughs> it could have been a keto style dish with just vegetables, you know. I've lost a lot of weight with keto. Lamb's cooked beautifully but then it's let down with these raw vegetables. Not the most appetizing of sounds. All right, next we have a crispy skin ocean trout swimming in a curry sauce. It's a curry. There has to be enough curry for it to be a curry. Absolutely delicious. Whoever put that together understands spice. The flavors are freaking delicious. Look at the flaky texture of this bread. This is like a croissant. Mm. Great job. 